uh, Benjamin Netanyahu has decided to uh, put his judiciary overhaul plan on uh, pause because of the amount of uh, backlash he's getting from the Israeli citizens. Uh, the United States could learn a thing or two from this. If we put the entire nation on lockdown, we could get universal health care and various other benefits that we need. Tonight, thousands of protesters surrounding Israel's parliament in a sea of flags as a divided nation reaches what some fear may be a breaking point. The crowds demanding Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu abandon his plan to weaken Israel's Supreme Court. And we will protest every day in the week until we will win this crazy situation. Overnight blocking Tel Aviv's main highway, police using horses and water cannons to clear the way. The country paralyzed by an unprecedented general strike. Daycares, banks and restaurants closed and Israel's main airport shut down for outbound flights as workers walked off the job in protest. Netanyahu tonight forced into a partial concession, agreeing to delay his legislation, at least for now. Saying, when it's possible to prevent civil war through negotiations, I, as the prime minister, take time out for negotiations. Well, yeah, he's truly afraid of a civil war breaking out. So he's going to stop his plans. I'm trying to be a dictator until everybody chills out enough to where it's possible. Um, it, it, it's it's pretty surprising actually that there are so many nations whose constitution and various laws prevents people who are being criminally charged from becoming uh, leader of the nation or running as leader because usually those people like Donald Trump is wanting to run so that they can uh, negate any of their charges that they are facing. But the prime minister is still under pressure from far-right members of his own government to keep going. This crowd of right-wing demonstrators has gathered in front of Israel's Supreme Court to support Benjamin Netanyahu. They want him to push ahead with his judicial overhaul despite the massive opposition. He, those same people would be protesting against the government if the uh, party that was looking to... Uh, put themselves in permanent power was the left wing group which the left wing group wouldn't want to do that because left wingers don't seek to become dictators and after news netanyahu would delay his plan to take more control over the court praise from the white house so we welcome this announcement as an opportunity to create additional time and space for compromise uh, compromise is precisely what we have been calling for still it's unclear no surprise that the United States government is okay with the Israeli government becoming a fascist uh, government that would allow them to work better with them in order to kill Palestinians and destabilize the Middle East. Clear if this Israeli political crisis is over or simply delayed. Raf Sanchez.